Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about which ad network I would use if I could not use AdMob. <laughs> All right, so today I'm coming to you once again from Goring, which is a beautiful location. I had to stop here again and do a video today, right, just because it's so nice outside and it's nice to be out of the office a little bit. All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in a few days ago on one of our really old videos. This video was called Why We Use AdMob, and I think it might be like three or four years old, right, where I talked about why I stick with AdMob and I don't use a lot of the other networks except through mediation, right? And this question comes from uh, Selvi Productivity Apps, right? And it said, Dear High Overpass Team, I want to know what's your alternative opinion for AdMob. I mean, the second one in the row. Thanks, Selvi Productivity Apps, right? So, and I think what that means is when we're not using AdMob, if we didn't have AdMob, which one would we use, right? And which actually is a good question because sometimes that comes up, right? The answer for me is AppLovin. Is for me, if I can't use AdMob, I'll go straight to AppLovin, right? Because that was that was my go-to, right? And the thing is, uh, the thing that always surprises me about uh, ad networks or making money through apps and everything is you have to try a lot of the different ad networks. See, I've had people who lose chart boost or um, Facebook audience network who swear by it, who say that's the most money I make you know that everything comes through there I don't know why anybody would use anything else whereas I use those and I don't get the same results that they do so a lot of the times it's a lot of trial and error and experimentation and this is why ad mediation is good right it's good because you don't have to keep you because know, you can switch it dynamically without having to keep redeploying your application and put all the other SDKs in there we talked before about SDK list mediation which has never really been very good so far so a lot of the times when you compile your app with these different ad networks you have to put those different SDKs in there but for me it's app loving but I know that's not the case for everybody and I hate to say that as a general rule this is you know what it would be a really good title for a video would be the best ad network out there but I can't make that because I don't know what it is all I can tell you is what works for me I've tried lots of different ad networks I can't even remember them all now because we're like last year I've just been sticking with AdMob and although it's been kind of up and down and up and down, it still seems to be the most consistent to me. Every time I use another ad network or if I use too many mediation networks at one go, the money gets spread out too far and I just don't get the same kind of results. So so my question to you, so like this would be mostly a question for the rest of you. For me, my second choice after AdMob is going to be AppLovin, right? That's just me. What about the rest of you guys? What is your backup? Which one would you go to if you couldn't use Apple, uh, AdMob? Or even better yet, you might not even be using AdMob. Which one do you find to be the best ad network for you? I mean, in, in which ones have you tried and which ones do you stick with? So anyway, that's it today, for today. I hope that helps a little bit, right? I, but I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.